Can the condition of the air filter affect the way the carburetor functions and therefore create the need to adjust the carburetor? Does the carburetor need to be adjusted differently for a brand new air filter than it does a seasoned well used air filter? Well in this video clip from my full video I've brought out this information so you can get to it quickly and efficiently should you want to. The full video is in the link below in the description. And as usual, I'm going to put in some visuals for a deeper understanding. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. I'm Craig, the owner and creator. And having been in the trade for around 30 years, I now make videos relating to the diagnosis and repair of small engines and machinery, and how things work and why. And in layman's terms, using clear visual explanations to help you gain a deeper understanding and a firmer knowledge base. Why? Because knowledge is power. So let's get to it. And supporting this video is a free download leaflet of how to tune your chainsaw. There's a link in the description below that will take you onto my website where you can download this, as I've said, completely free. The best of it is, is it's printable and you can take it into your workspace with you and tune your chainsaw at your leisure. OK, so as usual, let's take a look inside this machine at the engine and carburettor. Although I'm showing a chainsaw here, the principles are the same for other two-stroke machinery. So as we know, when the engine starts to move, it draws in air through the induction tube of the carburettor and as it passes the main jet, it draws out fuel hopefully at the right amount to allow for a good ratio between air and fuel for the engine to run optimal. And so on most two-stroke carburettors, we know we have these fuel adjustment screws, which allows more or less fuel into the induction tube of the carburettor. But one of the reasons we need to adjust the fuel in the carburettor is not literally down just to the fuel itself, it's because of the air that enters the carburettor. There's other factors that affect the air to begin with. And one particular thing I've most certainly come across in the past is the condition of the air filter. Let's say we've got a brand new air filter on this machine and that's letting a certain volume of air through into the carburettor and that volume of air is pulling out a certain amount of fuel out of the main jet in the venturi of the carburettor. And let's imagine that that's the right fuel to air mix to let this engine run correctly. If the air filter was blocked, then we'd know about it and the engine wouldn't run right at all and we'd have to change the air filter. But when the air filter has some partial blockages, it won't let the same volume of air through. And because it isn't letting that original volume of air through, then it's going to start running slightly richer, meaning that this fuel to air mix is now at a ratio where the main jet is providing more fuel than there is air to deal with it for efficient combustion within the engine. And of course it will need the screws screwing slightly inwards to restrict some of that fuel to make it a better air to fuel mix again. Again, if it's totally blocked and needs a new filter, it needs a new filter. But before it gets to that stage of needing a new filter, it is sometimes best just to slightly adjust the fuel screws in this way. So what happens when we've adjusted our carburetor to suit this partially blocked air filter and then we put a new air filter on? Yep, it's going to run lean because now it's allowing a high volume of air through. And because we restricted the fuel with the fuel screws when we had the partially blocked air filter, we're now running in that lean state. Or in other words, we now don't have enough fuel for the large amount of air that's coming through the carburetor and too much air and too little fuel again will not produce a decent combustion within the engine. So we can turn the fuel screws outwards and let more fuel down until we've got a better air to fuel mix allowing the engine to run better. So by adjusting the carburetor as we've shown on all of these examples it's just to get the engine running as best it can. I'm not saying it's going to perform at its best. OK, so don't forget to take advantage of the RepairSpecialistOnline.com website where from the landing page you can click this button here, free printable downloads, onto the download page and you can see I've got six free downloads here. 
The best of them are that they're printable and you can take them into your workspace with you. And they're on several different topics. We have one on lawnmower ignition coil care, a checklist. The Briggs & Stratton diaphragm replacement guide. One flood your chainsaw without or with tools. How to order the correct chain every time for your chainsaw. How to tune a chainsaw guide and a chainsaw won't run. As I've said, they're absolutely free and the download buttons are in the gold. And if I just take you through the process, because I've been asked this question, how you do this. So click free, download, scroll down, add to cart, then view cart, then get my download. You can see here, it's absolutely free. There's no payment at all. So get my free download. For the phone number, you may just use any number. I don't need the phone number, but we do need an email address. OK, so I've filled that in my name, last name and email address and click. And as you can see, we're still here. I have no charge and place order. And then we come to this screen here. Thank you. And your name. And then it says download. Click download and off it goes onto your PC. So a really big thank you for coming to the end of this video and I hope you've gained something from it. Thank you for watching.